What's up, God? What's up, Twin Flame? I am doing a reading for today is October 29th. Tomorrow is October 30th, which is the beginning of Scorpio season in the Kabbalistic calendar. Um, of course, we're already in um, Scorpio season based on the other astrology calendar, but as it pertains to Kabbalah and the Tree of Life and things of that sort, we are on the last day of Libra season. October 30th starts Scorpio season. So let's do a reading on that. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading will cover the dualities of yourself. Um, this isn't about you and someone that you're chasing or that's chasing you or relationship reading. This is about you becoming one with the dualities of yourself, becoming one with yourself. The computer messed up, but becoming one with the dualities of yourself, your masculine and feminine energies in order to live in a vibration that is high, a life that is high, a life that is purposeful, full of your you using your gifts and being used for a higher purpose. Goddess of the moon. I don't know why I want to align the moon with Scorpio, but I do. But anyway, we have Goddess of the Moon, same energy. We have the Sun, masculine energy, and we have the Thinking Woman. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have Journey. What does this mean for us? And I want to read a little bit of it. But I, I see this as masculine and feminine energies becoming one or plotting to become one with your masculine and feminine energies as it is a part of your journey. Progressing in your journey, figuring out how to use, become and use one, become one with your masculine and feminine energies and use that to advance your life. It's like thinking of strategies using the spiritual pathway, using the twin flame journey of, of oneness with the dualities of yourself and God to advance your life. Let's look up journey first. Journey is two, which is union, but it is movement, relocation, and travel. It says, pack your bags. The journey this journey card foretells upcoming travel or shift in location. You know what's crazy because we get I get this card and I, I'm actually moving November first. I have um, the keys already, but I'll be moving into my home on November first. But anyway, it may be a trip though, a vacation or a retreat. But this card indicates uh, a move of residence or job relocation. So we could some some of us may even be having a new job. We may have new strategy as it pertains to our careers, but it's the upright position in the case the plan should go off without a hitch. So be clear about your motivation and mindful of logistics. All of life is a journey. And this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. So it's like, all right, things are working out in our favor. There's a shift, perhaps in our jobs, a shift in our locations, a shift. Maybe we even go on vacation. My sister had a dream that her and I were going to New York. And then she started seeing New York everywhere. I think that was an indication for her to take me on a trip to New York for my birthday, but she didn't. So, but anyway... Perhaps there is a change in residence, a change in career. So we can expect some sort of change in our life. That is a part of our journey. That's exciting. That's inspiring. And whatever plans that we have should go off without a hitch. So if we have plans as it relates to work, plans as it relates to career and business, expect it to go off without a hitch. Then we have Goddess of the Moon. Let's look up Goddess of the Moon. I'm just happy with an angel of strength because child... I've been happy to be strong for the longest. Let's say we have intuition and going within. We knew that Goddess of the Moon was about your intuition and your feminine energy being used. This card is about intuition and the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues and now is the time to use it. Didn't I just say that? Masculine and feminine energies. Thinking about a strategy to use your masculine and feminine energies in order to advance whatever this is. Advance in life. 
Um, I think I'm going to leave there. You're blessed with this ability to connect. And now is the time, perfect time to open up. So perhaps something changes in our life that allows for us to move, to use our masculine and feminine energies more effectively. Then the sun, I love the sun. The sun is new beginnings and great creativity. The sun brings blessings to the earth. And this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. So, yes, I love this message. Bringing new life in the spring and summer. This is your time for a new beginning. The onset of nurturing new light in your life. The light of the divine inspiration and personal growth. This time uh, often marks a time of great creativity. Bringing the culmination of an important new job project. Such as the birth of a baby or writing of a publication or book. I am writing a book that I'm about to publish. Or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy and express your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pointing into your heart and mind. The rays of the sun bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create. And the sun is shining on your intentions now. So, using your energies, using your gifts, using your feminine energy, intuition, and insight to manifest and create something but your life is blessed so your journey takes a turn the beginning of scorpio season we, we expected this to happen during libra season it's still october 30th so it could happen but anyway your life takes a turn and finally things are manifesting allowing you to use your gifts allowing you to be one with your higher self shining the light on you look at her look at that that is so beautiful it's like the light shining on you you're using your gifts because this is a part of your spiritual journey so now let's and you're abundantly blessed so we can expect blessings we can expect new beginnings in career business and our projects our plans to go off without a hitch i expect the book that i'm writing to be abundantly blessed and do very well so whatever projects we're working on we can expect it to do well and go off without a hitch whatever plans you have um even moving I expect that to go off without a hitch and not for me to have every single thing that I want to need as it pertains to the move. Female of wisdom or understanding. So you'll be perceived as a female of wisdom. We will be perceived as a female of wisdom and understanding and insight. Yes. This says, this card shows a woman holding a book, standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to a higher understanding. So perhaps whatever you're doing or whatever we're doing here leads people to a higher understanding leading us to a higher understanding put us into a position of authority where we're leading people to a higher understanding this could be your friend or this could be you this could be a new love interest or it could be um someone that brings clarity and assistance to the world again a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world so i feel like this is our projects and our everything happening in our life things coming together as a part of our journey putting us in a spotlight Putting us in a place to use our gifts to bring blessings to our life and others. Because we're, we're sharing our insight, we're sharing our gifts to help people advance into a higher level of understanding. I think this is dope. Um, do I want any tarot? Sometimes I pull tarot in a message, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I would rather just have a numerological message or geometrical message. And I think I would like one as well. Um, I have to go to my son's basketball game, so I won't be too long today, but this is what I'll do. First, I'll pull some tarot, see what comes, and then I'll pull a geometrical message from my inner heart, whatever comes from it. Four of Cups. Sometimes the Four of Cups um, stands for, let's see, Four of Cups and Nine of Cups. Um, and then now the world is on the bottom of the deck. And I think I'll leave it here. With the world on the bottom of the deck, things are coming full circle. But you're also, it's also like a person sitting on top of the world. Things are finally moving forward and changing for you, putting you in a position to sit on top of the world. Things happening for you, manifesting in a positive way. Finally, things that were once rejected, now bringing in blessings. Like the four turns into the nine. It's like... You, you take a few steps ahead. Five, actually. You're pushed five steps ahead. You go from the four to the nine. Being abundantly blessed. And nine is also the, gifts, not the number of, you know, service, the number of blessings, the number of gifts of the spirit, and things of that sort. So it's like being blessed because you use your gifts of the spirit, because you are on that spiritual path. And so the no's are now turning into yeses. 
So yeah, everything coming full circle. This is a good reading, so we can expect good things to happen. I just want to pull a geometrical message. Ooh, ooh, okay. E. All right, so we have, and I knew I saw that A for a reason. We have, okay. Hmm. So when I get zeros, it's like all or nothing. It's like God energy. It's like infinity. And the reason why I'm also saying that is because we have two eights in here too. And we know the eights are about blessings and abundance. And I did shuffle these cards. And then on the bottom of the deck, if you can see, it's 10. It's some sort of completion. And it's also some sort of spiritual doubling up. Five times two is ten as well, and that's a five and a two there as well. So it's like spiritual completion is more life manifesting in the physical realm. We got eight eight eight, which is the number of resurrection, redemption, recovery. So it's like doubling up, recovering whatever you lost, you're getting it back times two or times ten. But um, this is materially material completion, entering the next phase of life materially. Um, resurrecting though as it pertains to spirit as it pertains to intuition as it pertains to recovery of who you are as a person and putting you more on a solid foundation here this is solid foundation this is recovery and resurrection this is balance being actually balanced in life um, physical balance manifestation of masculine and feminine energies becoming one and operating in that in the physical realm the green to me is like not only financially but also in earthly energy it's like finally having that material balance i i, I relate this to the six of pentacles having that material balance in your life so whatever happens here brings us balance brings us material growth bring us stability bring us completion Again, we have the full circle here as well, allowing us to use both of our energy to become balanced. But then we have this stop and this um, zero. My mind is telling me new beginnings. My intuition is telling me there's new beginnings. There's something that ends and something that begins. Yep, you know, with... God energy or infinity energy is like there's no beginning, there's no ending. But something ends here so that something else can begin. Something that's more eternal. Something more forever. Something that's going to stick. So perhaps it's ending to an, um, a phase in our life and opening us to the real you. Opening you to the real you. Opening me to the real me. Ending up out with the old and in with the new, more abundant, more infinity energy. Because previously, without being one with your spirit self, that's not infinity. Like, lots of people die in the human form be before they become one with themselves. But something about becoming one yourself is everlasting life. And I think that's what the Jesus blueprint is about. Other than becoming one with your higher self and, and more life and abundance, it's about eternal life. Becoming one with your spirit eternally. This is deep. But it's a part of our journey, and it's leading us to being one with ourselves. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing. Every minute view counts. Please continue to share, like, comment on my videos. I appreciate you all. I wish you all love, lights, and more life. Don't forget the Master Manifesto Toolkit Cheat Sheet available on my website for 1111 teaching you how I manifested so many things on full payment of my student loans without me paying um 100% from the VA um $30,000 twice my home vacations before I just teach you how I've done it and I teach you what not to do during the manifestation process because you can manifest things in a good way and a not so good way so anyway I wish you all love light and more life AshleyGillard.com. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.